Have you felt it? Have you noticed that Facebook is going through some humongous changes? Maybe you or someone you know has had a page shut down. Maybe they've had ads accounts shut down. Maybe you just have this gut feeling things aren't quite working like they used to. Well, they're not. In 2019, they are changing. Hey, this is Leah Ray from ToddandLeahRay.com. In this video, I'm going to lay it out for you and help you understand 13 of the top changes that are going to affect you as a marketer on Facebook so that you can really still leverage the platform to its fullest potential and stay safe and not get caught up in where some of these changes could really hurt you if you're not aware of what's going on. Number one is that you need to understand Facebook is really changing how their platform is focused. And one of those big things is that groups are where it is at. Facebook really wants to change their focus from individual posts and pages to really building up communities. So if you are not currently building a group or community on Facebook, you should be. If you want to be on Facebook in a meaningful way in today's day and age, you should have a Facebook community, a group that you can leverage to build up an audience, engage that audience, and then sell to that audience. Now, if you don't know much about Facebook groups, how to really leverage them to make the most amount of money, how to create them, get them started, and also changes that are happening specific for groups, I do have some videos here for groups, all about Facebook groups. I'll have it in the info card here. I'll also put it in the upper right corner of the screen as this video ends, so you can learn more about setting up Facebook groups and using them to build a business. Now, number two is that you need to understand their overarching theme about all of these changes, really, and the focus of Facebook is to really understand they want meaningful interactions on Facebook. They are all about protecting the user experience. They want their users to enjoy being on Facebook. They want them to have meaningful interactions with pages, with groups, with communities, with people. And so understanding this, you'll see this theme actually run through several of these bullet points, but it's really important that you understand everything around Facebook should be really about meaningful interactions. And they're going to catch you if you are trying to take any shortcuts to this and not creating a meaningful interaction, really giving value to the Facebook community as a whole. Number three is that not all reactions to posts will actually help you increase your reach. Previously with organic reach, it was thought that if you had any sorts of reaction, happy, sad, angry, wow, whatever sort of reaction to a post, it was going to help boost your organic reach. That is no longer the case. They, again, are really focused on user experience and they don't want their users to be sad or to be angry. So they will actually suppress your posts, diminish your organic reach if people are making us, you know, choosing sad face or angry face on a post. Yes, this is frustrating because sometimes you want to show people you're empathetic to their situation and you want to show them that you're sad. Don't do that. Just use a wow instead so that their post is still out there and it doesn't get diminished. As a Facebook page, you need to understand this so that you're not sharing anything that people may react angrily towards or sad towards. Even if they're not mad at you as the page, uh, any kind of articles or things that you might be sharing, you want to avoid anything that could get those sad or angry reactions because it's going to diminish the organic reach of your post. Number four is that contests, giveaways, free downloads are being suppressed by Facebook. They're again looking for meaningful interactions and they really don't feel that those sorts of things qualify. So if you are running contests, doing giveaways, offering anything for free, you need to be a little more creative in the language on how you present that on Facebook and probably use a combination of an image, text, or picture and some language that doesn't say free giveaway or contest so that it doesn't suppress your post. Number five, this is pretty interesting. Guess what? Facebook really is no longer caring about likes on posts. They want to see loves, laughs, or shocked faces. To them, this is helping them understand that you, your community, the people who you are reaching, it's actually reaching them in a meaningful way. So you want your community to love your content, to do the shocked reaction, to do the, the laughing face reaction, and that's going to boost the algorithm, going to help your post reach more people. On top of that, comments are still very, very positive to boost your organic reach. Now remember, sad face, angry face, not good. <laughs> Loves, laughed, shocked faces, comments, those are all things that are going to boost your organic reach from your page or even your personal page if you're doing stuff there. Number six, GIFs or GIFs or however you want to say it, G-I-F-S, they actually are going to be giving you the highest ranking in the algorithm. This is news because previously Facebook Lives were really the best way to go to reach the most people. Now, GIFs are going to be the way to go. Number seven comes back to meaningful engagement. They do not want you to say anything telling people how to react to a post. So you can't say, you shouldn't say, love this post, like this post, comment below. That's all considered engagement bait and they will actually cause Facebook to suppress your post. Comment, vote, react, share, tag. Those are all words that can be flanked as engagement bait and can actually cause your post to be suppressed. Number eight, 
sales or directly promotional posts, something that's obviously selling something, it should be less than 20% of all the posts on the page. Now, again, if you follow us at all or really any good marketer, they're gonna tell you that's just good marketing. You don't wanna blast or pitch constantly. 20% or less is a good rule of thumb. And from Facebook's perspective, it's all about really encouraging meaningful interaction and not just trying to sell people stuff. Number nine, if you are used to leveraging takeover collaborations on your Facebook business page, that word takeover is actually a flag and is being suppressed. So if you are gonna do any sort of takeover, you need to uh, be creative on how you promote that. Now, if you're not familiar with what a takeover is, it's essentially collaborating with someone in your niche, in your space that your audience would resonate with and you basically like post to their page or do something on their page, you kind of swap pages or just have them come onto your page to do something. And it's a great way to get in front of their audience and, and vice versa, your audience in front of them. So it's a great way to collaborate. However, Facebook doesn't really like that. Don't use the word takeover. It is gonna be suppressed in the algorithm. Number 10, learning all these algorithm things is going to be much more important because it's going to get more challenging to successfully run newsfeed ads with a small budget. It's going to get harder and harder. You may already be feeling this. I know Todd and I have experienced this in our business. It's pay to play and there's a lot more people coming onto the platform, big, big brands willing to pay a lot of money. So if you are wanting to run ads, you're going to need a bigger budget or you just should start playing with other types of non newsfeed ads. They have a lot of different options now. So don't just get stuck thinking about newsfeed ads. Look at all the other options that they have if you're looking to run ads on your page. Number 11, going live on your personal profile on your business page, it's no longer going to be favored in the Facebook algorithm. Now, if you've been using this to really get a lot of engagement with your audience, it's no longer going to benefit you like that. If you never really jumped on the Facebook live bandwagon, yay, <laughs> you don't have to now. You're off the hook. It's no longer going to hurt you. So they have really changed up their algorithm, how it works. Like I said, uh, GIFs are really the way to go. They get a big reach, but don't feel the pressure to go live just to get more reach. Then number 12 is interesting. Links within a post, they're still going to hurt your post. We've done a video on this in the past. Yes, putting a link directly in your post will suppress it within the Facebook algorithm, but now it's a little bit different. Yes, links in the post will suppress it, but they're getting a bit more scientific about it. Links in the post can actually flag something called click gap signal, click gap signal. And this is essentially Facebook measuring the inbound and the outbound link patterns of a site that's being linked out, out of from Facebook. So if it's your personal website that you're sending people to, they're going to look to see where the traffic to that site is coming from. Facebook will reduce the reach of a post if the number of clicks from Facebook to the website is higher than it is from other areas of the internet. So if you rely on traffic to your website solely from Facebook, this is really going to hurt you. Basically, Facebook will suppress and or shut down your account if more people are going to your website from Facebook than who are going to it organically from Google search. Facebook has decided that this metric, this measurement they can do means that something is clickbait if it has higher clicks going to it from Facebook than anywhere else in the internet. So if you're leveraging Facebook for a lot of traffic, this is going to be challenging for you. Number 13, this is very interesting. Yes, shares from your content on your business page are good for your business page. However, do not share your posts from your business page to your personal timeline. I will admit, I'm guilty as charged. We have done this in the past. Do not do this any longer. It's actually against the terms of service of Facebook. It can get your page, your account shut down. If a reader, someone who is not an, an administrator on the page, sees your page content, likes it, shares it to their timeline, yes, that is still going to be a boost to the algorithm, just like if they were going to comment on it or whatever, that's great. But it is not the same. It's actually more harmful if you are the admin on the page and you share the content to your timeline. If you're an admin on the page, do not share it to your timeline. It's only for the audience of that page that's going to help boost in the algorithm. So digesting all 13 of these big changes that are happening with Facebook, what's the one big takeaway you should have from this? Well, don't solely focus your business on Facebook. You don't own it. You do not own your Facebook business page, your profile, any of it. And that's no, no solid foundation for a business. Yes, you can still use Facebook. Yes, it is a powerful method to, to help a business, but you need to use Facebook as a way to generate traffic, to build an audience that you can send elsewhere, get them onto something that you own, like an email list. Email lists, I mean, if you haven't learned about email lists, I'll have an info card up here. We're all about email lists, something that you personally own, or getting them uh, really plugged in on your website. Don't rely on 
the platform itself because you don't own it. These sorts of changes, uh, you know, you can still adjust and shift and be very successful on Facebook, but it is a reminder that you don't own it and it can change at any point in time. Now for more great insights, tips, and just some amazing training to help you create a very successful online business, click the top link in the description. If you're on desktop, it's right there for you in the top link in the description. If you're on mobile, you got to hit the little carrot to drop it down, open it up and get to it. Click that link, grab access to our training. Now, please know that we are here on this channel to help you create the time freedom that you and your family truly deserve. So if this is the first video that you're finding of ours, make sure that you subscribe, turn on the bell for notifications so that we can help you create that time freedom. Again, this is Leah Ray from ToddandLeahRay.com. If you are sticking around on YouTube, we got some great videos up here for you to watch next. These are all about groups, Facebook groups, and how to really leverage them to build a successful online business. Watch that next and I'll see you soon.